The strength of a Bronsted-Lowry acid or base is a description of its proclivity or tendency to act as a proton donor or a proton acceptor. The more willing a molecule is to give up its proton, the stronger of an acid it is. And the more willing a molecule is to take a proton, the stronger of a base it is. We measure the strength of an acid or base by reference to its reaction with water. For an acid reacting with water, the generic equation is HA and H2O going to A minus and H3O plus, also known as the hydronium ion. Remember that all reactions are, in principle, reversible, so this reaction is described by an equilibrium constant, K. Since it's for an acid, we call this equilibrium constant Ka. The larger the equilibrium constant, the more the products are favored, implying that Ha really wanted to give its proton away. So Ka is a measure of an acid's strength. By convention, an acid is called strong if its Ka is greater than or equal to 1. There are six common strong acids, which you should memorize. Hydroiodic acid, HI, hydrobromic acid, HBr, hydrochloric acid, HCl, nitric acid, HNO3, perchloric acid, HClO4, and sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Some sources also list chloric acid, HClO3, among the strong acids, but it is much less common, and I won't hold you accountable for that one. Sometimes you'll hear it said that strong acids dissociate completely in water. Don't say that. It makes you think somehow that an acid is an ionic compound. It's not. The HA bond is covalent. Instead, strong acids react more or less completely with water. Acids that have Ka less than 1 are called weak, or very weak, acids. Since equilibrium constants can have a continuum of values, so acid strength is also a continuum, ranging from very strong acids like hydroiodic and hydrobromic acids, to moderately strong acids like oxalic or phosphoric acids, to pretty weak acids like hydrocyanic acid or ammonium, to very weak acids like acetylene or ammonia. Because Ka values can range from very large to very small, and the numerical values of Ka get a little cumbersome to say, 6.3 times 10 to the minus 27, chemists devised a simpler way to quantitatively describe acid strength, called the pKa scale, where pKa is the negative log base 10 of the Ka. So an acid with a very large Ka will have a negative pKa, and an acid with a very small Ka will have a large positive K pKa. Just like for acids, the strength of a Bronsted base is defined by its reactivity toward water. The reaction of a generic base B with H2O gives BH plus and OH minus. This reaction is, at least in principle, reversible, and so is described by an equilibrium constant, which we call Kb. A large Kb, that is greater than 1, indicates a very strong base and the smaller the Kb, the weaker a base is. PKBs can also be defined for bases, but this is much less common and we won't be using PKB values in Chem 202.